though this is very clean, we know that we don't want this to be um, the text. We want to be able to replace that with the logo that we have. So let's go ahead and do that. We know that this is blog title. So we can go back to our theme. We already have a section for blog title. And all we have to do is put it in the background now, right? So background uh, URL is images. Um, let's see what, what it is exactly. Uh, the title is this logo right here. Um, we'll copy it. We'll put it right here. Um, and that loads that logo in in the background. Let's see what that looks like. And we'll refresh it. Bingo. Okay, we got a, a couple of problems here. One of them is that we have the tail here because it's a little bit wider than the actual image. There are a few things we could do to fix that. We'll actually do both of them, I guess, um, or, or a couple of them. Um, the first thing is we can make this uh, no repeat so it just goes in once. The other thing is we can draw this down a little bit so it's not quite as wide. Um, we'll do both of those things. And we'll refresh. All right. Um, now I was going to say we might need to add in some some space here but there's actually a little bit of margin in the actual image itself so that's okay. In the design, the dog is actually off to the left a little bit. So the problem is that this is inside another another container here, the heading, which goes here. But I actually want the dog outside of the main kind of column of stuff. This is a uh, this is a um, you know a, a Jello mold, a, a floating center section, right? Um, but uh, so if it's too close, the dog will then go off the screen. But we can deal with that in a little bit. I do want to move this over just a little bit. And so I'm going to use a negative uh, margin. I'm going to use a negative margin on the left. I'm going to keep the top margin at zero. Um, I'll add in a little bit of margin on the on the right. We'll leave zero at the bottom. And then on the left I'm going to go with, um, that's probably a little big, um, but we'll stick with it for now. Uh, actually moving things over by a good third into the margin on the left. It's kind of like doing a uh, a uh, in, in Microsoft Word, for example, telling it that you want to have an outdent. So we're going to kind of outdent it here a little bit. I kind of like that, especially we'll, we'll see what we're going to do with the line here, but I like the dog kind of stepping in from the left there. Um, now the, the, the final problem we have with, with the title section here is with blog title is that we still have our, our, um, our text here. If you'll see, it might look a little funny, but blog title, we have blog title. If we open that up, we've got inside of blog title a span, and inside the span we've got the, the title. So why did they do that? Well, it's basically to help us along a little bit. It's an empty span tag, which might seem like it's just wasteful, but it does. It gives us one of the more common ways of doing image replacement. Now, there's another tutorial that talks about image replacement, and there are dozens of ways of doing it, but this is a very straightforward way. We can say leave the, the um, actual div here, but completely disappear the span inside. So how do we do that? Well, we say not just for blog title, but for any inside uh, for, so start with blog title and then any spans inside a blog title and we know there's just one we display none that is we kind of disappear it so let's save that update the file and I'll refresh it here and now we have just a fair shake for use now we've got some weirdness here because of our well I, I have those red lines in to uh, to take care of uh, um, somewhere here I have this border that I put in just to make things easier to see. Let me pull those out for just a second. And so we're getting closer right here. Um, this might cause a problem later on, that, that line that goes straight through the whole thing. Uh, but basically we've got the title in the right place.